Hello everybody. Welcome to the hallway of my apartment building. I'm just about to go on another random, random adventure and I thought that you might want to come along. This adventure is going to take me to Goyang City. I'll tell you what I'm going to be doing. So when you live abroad, you end up doing the most random things. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be playing the role of a white adult female. Yes, that's right. The white adult female. The role was written just for me. When you live abroad, you find yourself doing the weirdest stuff. The, really the weirdest stuff. And so today, I'm going to be in a video that was commissioned by a publishing company. And I'll be doing I guess it's kind of an awareness video to tell kids how much sugar is in soda. So I'm gonna be that person, that that woman. It's pretty true to my character, I suppose. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I was waiting for a bus, an express bus, that would have gotten me there in perfect timing. But the asshole didn't even pull into the bus stop. He just kept going. Even though he saw me, he made eye contact with me. Uh, I find these uh, buses from Gyeonggi province, the drivers are, are jerks. Like, I don't know who they think they're working for if they're not even going to pick up passengers. It really makes me angry. But it also reminds me that Seoul has gotten a lot better because Seoul used to be this way too. So anyway, arr, I'm gonna be late, but only a little bit, so I guess it's okay. Ah. While I wait from my bus, I figured I might as well just practice my lines. So here we go. Today I'm going to talk about soda. I'm sure you like soda because it tastes sweet. Those are the first two lines. I got this. Here it comes. Let me in, please. Let me in, please. Uh, All right, this is happening. Still practicing. But do you know how much sugar it really contains? Probably not. Okay. Bye-bye, bus. Sorry, I'm feeling extra thankful to buses these days. So here we are in... I mean, it might it might kind of look like sort of the middle of nowhere, <laughs> but uh, this is Goyangshi, or near just outside of it. And the building that I'm going to is a complex that was created to stimulate the economy, to encourage small business. Uh, the place that I'm going is a film studio that's in the basement and it's so deep underground that I'm thinking that if some sort of war erupts I should come here and hang out it's it's crazy how deep down it is you'll see you'll see and I must say that one of the things that I love the most about doing this kind of thing is the pro makeup so they always do my makeup and I always uh, I almost went out in front of a green light. I always, I always look so much better when a pro does my makeup. I think I want to become like one of their friends and get them to come live in my house and do pro makeup for me all the time. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to get rich before that happens though. Whoa. This is the building right here. It's called Media Town. So, on the first floor we have a real estate agency, some kind of a meat restaurant, a convenience store, a cafe. Uh, there's those Gyeonggi, -do, Gyeonggi province buses again. Those guys are jerks. So much honking. 
this is the entrance. The thing that I was most surprised about by this place last time I came is the lack of signage. I wandered around here for ages last time trying to figure out where am I supposed to go. Hey, this is cool. There's a climbing gym too. Interesting. These are the different businesses that are here on the main floor, but we need to go down into the basement. So there's the parking lot and I think it might be B2. I think. Might as well take the stairs. Oh my gosh. Mm, is this looking more familiar? This is it. Studio Zip. the main filming and well I make a lot of mistakes so it took a lot longer than I expected but anyway everybody is very kind so I'm thankful for that so that is that um, well I mean I guess I play a white adult female just as good as anybody else does <laughs> uh, I want to show you a little bit about where I am right now it's I mean, it's interesting to me as a person who likes business that this place exists. So I'm going to just take a little bit of footage and show you. Although everything is closed right now, so it might not be that interesting. We shall see. So all along here, there are different businesses. And this place is huge. So there's this row and then all the way over here. They probably think that I got lost, but I did not. I'm just exploring. What is this place? Yeah, a lot of this is quite industrial, but it's also a great place for a film studio as well. Carton, dashboard cover, mogi jang, is like mosquito, something. Carrier, uh, LED, samgatte. What is a samgatte? I don't know. So yeah, there are lots of people doing business here in this underground parking lot thing. And we're two stories down, so you can, uh, you can see how this would be really great in a nuclear war attack or something like that. Uh, obviously, I'm assuming that's not actually gonna happen. So this, this place is called Hengbok <laughs> Yutong. It's funny. Yutong, I guess, is distribution. Happy distribution. That wraps up my tour of this little complex and my filming experience as white adult woman. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Honestly, I find these jobs quite fun. I get to get professional makeup done. They pay me too, which is quite nice. So uh, I, I kind of almost wish that I had a little more opportunities to do this. Whoa, that's what I look like from behind. <laughs> Ooh, side view. That's a lot of me's. A lot of me's. I don't think the world needed that much me. I went back to the first floor and somehow ended up like way up here on this platform. I see an exit over there, so I'm gonna go for it. This place creeps me out because there's nobody ever around. It's like, yeah. Wish me luck getting out of here. I totally went the wrong way, but I think the highway is right over there, so 
I see the light. I see the traffic lights at the end of the tunnel. Oh, I want to show you something. This is the center of the complex. And if you look down, hopefully I don't drop my phone, there's a nice sports area here for people to chill out and enjoy some leisure time. It's a forklift. Little known fact about me, whenever I see construction vehicles or forklifts or anything like that, I have a very strong desire to learn how to drive them. I, I think, yeah, if I, if I could, I would probably just buy one and, well, okay, I'd need a house and a yard first. So I get the house and the yard, and then I would buy all these little vehicles and teach myself how to drive them uh, just to amuse myself. I think that would be really, really fun. Is anybody else with me on this? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. I have the whole bus to myself. <clears throat> Check it out. It's a Halloween themed bus with orange and black. Thank you for joining me on this incredibly random adventure. I hope you'll come along next time. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave some comments, and share. Share the video. That's gonna help me a lot. Oh, and did I mention, if you're not subscribed yet, please do.